Uh, I'd like to invite Mr. Kim Stevens forward. He's here to present on behalf of the Partnership for Water Sustainability in British Columbia and it's in order to recognize the City of Coquitlam as a champion supporter of the partnership. And he has a presentation which I will start now. Sound okay? So, ready to go. So, yes, so um, the reason I'm here, obviously, uh, is to present this frame of recognition in a moment. But I just want to talk about why um, we consider you to be a leader by example. And in terms of context, the partnership is incorporated as a not for profit society. The City of Coquitlam is a founding member of the partnership because our, ge our genesis goes back to 2002. So, as you can see from this first slide, our mission is develop tools, develop talent, focus on outcomes. And a key part of that being able to focus on outcomes is, is really the outcomes of local governments such as yourselves. And th through, the, uh, through the Water Sustainability Action Plan, which we are responsible for delivering, and this is our 10th anniversary this year, uh, the action plan was released in February of 2004. So as you can see from that first slide, it falls into four areas, you know, products and tools, networking, outreach, capacity building, uh, education and training, and obviously a key thing is weekly e-blast or e-newsletters, and I know some of you do get those newsletters. So really the significance in terms of, of our, amongst our tools is the waterbucket.ca website. Uh, articles about Coquitlam are featured prominently on the, on the website, and there you see the pictures of Peter Stublin and uh, Melanie Bird come up, because the key message here is that local governments learn from each other and they progress through sharing of case study experience. So you have had a lot of case study experience over the last little while, over the last 15 years, and so people have watched, been watching you and they have learned from your experience, and we have captured it in this document which we released back in January. I'm sure you've all read it. So in terms of you know uh, that, that sharing process, there are five geographic regions, and I refer to them as geographic regions. I know everybody likes to think, you know, that you know, they, uh, every 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 part of the Georgia Basin is a region unto itself. But really, if you the three thousand feet in the air and you look down on it, it's just a big puddle. And really, we're talking about the valleys, right? So the Comox Valley, the Nanaimo region, the Cowichan Valley, Cattle region, and in terms of Metro Vancouver, it's been the city of Coquitlam and the city of Surrey who are representing this region in what we call an interregional education an initiative in which we are sharing and cross-fertilizing tools, resources, information, and expertise. And it's really important that there are those who are leading by example. And so, um, as I just said, the, your experience is informing the initiative. And it's by telling the stories of those who are spearheading, spearheading changes in practice, you know, this helps others. And I believe it was, it was actually the City of Quillen staff that actually coined this, this phrase, uh, eliminating the disconnect between information and implementation because in my career has been defined by the fact that we're always, we're always trying to move from talk to action, from talk to action, and that's what the city of Quitlam has done over the last decade. You have moved from talk to action, and that's helping other people. And so in terms of what I mentioned, uh, e-newsletters, well, this is an example. This is the one in January when we did release your story, the Quitlam story. And so where is this going on the sharing of experience? Well, in 2015, we will have an interregional deliver deliverable. It's, it's a guidance document. It'll be called Towards a Watershed Health Legacy. That's what we're working towards, uh, taking that highfalutin language and all of your plans and actually mean something on the ground in, in terms of how you do actions. Because where this leads to in terms of application, it's actually helping local governments uh, to guide their actions, inform community and watershed planning, and ultimately create a legacy. I do want to comment on the fact that as far as I know, Coquitlam is the one local government in British Columbia that in your OCP actually specified that you should get the watershed planning right before you do your land use planning. Too often people are in a reactive mode, but you get, you've gotten it right over this last decade. So kudos to the city of Coquitlam. And at that point, Mr. Mayor, uh, it's time for the photo op because I need to hand you this, this plaque. And so, <laughs> unless somebody else wants to take it, but no, seriously, in, in terms of this letter of recognition, it is our thank you to the city of Coquitlam because it's the things that you're doing on the ground that's helping the partnership as a whole uh, advance the vision of British Columbia for, for doing things right and for achieving water sustainability through green infrastructure practices on the ground. So.
and uh, I just wanted to thank uh, uh, Kim to, uh, for his work in capturing our words because in the last uh, few years we came to the uh, recognition that our first attempt at achieving this uh, was not implementable and we had to go back and revise some things but he in his article he really captured the struggles that uh, that we had between idealism and actual practical realities when you try to do watershed planning and development on the side of a mountain and uh, and we had to admit and when we did admit that we didn't get it right the first time, but we persevered, we changed our approach, and I think we got it much closer. And we're still learning, um, but uh, I think we are a model, and many other communities are actually uh, encouraged when uh, we went public with uh, statements that uh, it's not always how easy it seems like in the models and that kind of stuff and we really hit some real challenges. We revised our approach and Kim did a really good job of capturing, ca capturing that story. So we thank him for that. Well, on behalf of all of Council, we thank you very much for this recognition. Uh, the, the, the city is hereby deemed to be a champion supporter of the Partnership for Water Sustainability in British Columbia. Um, there is no question that all of Council uh, relishes the, that, that recognition, but we also strive to, to make sure that this watershed works properly. We've got a number of committees in that regard that are aimed at improving the health of the watershed, the health of the river, uh, everything from sand and gravel operations to well, even a discussion we had today that Melanie was party to related to the way in which our stormwater management takes place uh, adjacent to, to, to city streets, the kinds of uh, initiatives we have undertaken and continue to undertake in that regard. And I thank you very much on behalf of Council for coming out today. Thank you. I should also mention that our city manager, what is your title? The president of something. I'm only a chair. I'm, I, I chair the Canadian Water Network, which is a federally uh, funded water institution that does research into a wide variety of water issues. There you go. So, uh, thank you very much for your leadership as well, Mr. Stebbins. Mr. Kirk. 